Mid-April 1945, the war is nearly over, yet pockets of German forces in the West are fighting as resolutely as ever, now on German soil since the British and Americans have pierced the Western Front defences. In late March, the Allies crossed the Rhine and began a rapid advance into Germany's industrial heartland, the Ruhr. Most German forces are fighting the Soviets in eastern Germany, with only shattered divisions and ad hoc battle groups trying to slow down the Allies in the West. In the forests of western Germany, isolated German units of infantry and a few tanks set ambushes. One such unit is Kampfgruppe Schulze. Formed by Major Paul Schulze, using a few available tanks, the unit comprises six Tiger Ones and five Panthers. On the 6th of April 1945, Kampfgruppe Schulze had advanced to the Aller River near the town of Rettem. One Tiger was destroyed by its crew after suffering a mechanical failure. The next day, a hastily assembled infantry force joined Schulze at Nienburg. They were now ready for combat. On the 9th of April, some of the Panthers engaged elements of the British 6th Airborne Division at Wietersheim. In fierce fighting, only one panther survived to withdraw. The five Tigers counterattacked, and Tiger F-02 was hit by a Piat anti-tank launcher damaging the gun mantlet. The damaged Tiger was sent back to Fallingbostel, where a replacement mantlet was fitted. On the 11th of April, the Tigers entered the town of Bukeburg, but two Tigers became stuck in thick mud. A panther tried to pull them out and also became mired. The tanks were abandoned and blown up by their crews. Two of the remaining Tigers engaged leading elements of the U.S. 5th Armoured Division. In a fierce exchange, the two Tigers, along with two half-tracks, were knocked out. Major Schulze escaped capture, taking command of another Tiger tank. Realising he was now effectively behind enemy lines, Schulze decided to fight his way back to German lines. Retreating to Achum, he knocked out three U.S. Sherman tanks, his Tiger taking repeated hits, smashed through a U.S. roadblock, knocked out several more U.S. vehicles, and liberated 200 German prisoners. Some of the liberated Germans followed Schulze's Tiger in captured U.S. trucks until fuel was exhausted at Bad Nenoff, and the Tiger was trashed. But one Tiger remained, F-02, which had been under repair at Fallingbostel. On the 12th of April, it was ready for action under Sergeant Franzen. F-02, along with two more scrounged Tigers, joined a new battle group, Kampfgruppe Grossan, along with an assortment of infantry. The Kampfgruppe advanced towards the British 11th Armoured Division. In forested country, the Tigers encountered the new British Comet tank. The Comet, though Britain's latest tank, was no match for a Tiger, particularly in terms of armour protection. But the Comet's 17-pounder gun could penetrate a Tiger close to, and the Comet was a faster tank. But the Tiger's 8.8-centimetre gun could dispose of a Comet at far longer ranges, and its frontal armour was fearsome. Tiger F-02 confronted three Comet tanks of No. 1 Troop A Squadron, 3rd Royal Tank Regiment. Franzen quickly knocked out one Comet with three shots and an armoured car. The remaining two Comets reversed quickly out of trouble. Then both sides withdrew for the night. Early the next morning on the 13th of April 1945, the British tanks cautiously moved out, expecting that the Tiger had left, realising it was completely outnumbered. Lieutenant Johnny Langdon, commanding No. 1 Troop, was astonished to see that the Tiger tank was still sat beside the forest road. The bugger was clearly waiting for them, as bold as brass. Sergeant Harding's tank advanced through the trees, flanking the Tiger, who was alone. Franzen realised too late that Harding was in the trees, and started to traverse the Tiger's slow-moving turret when a round from Harding's comet punched through the thin side armour, setting fire to the left rear fuel tank. Franzen and his crew bailed out. Sergeant Harding later received the military medal for his daring flank attack on the Tiger. A few seconds more and Harding's comet would have been destroyed. 
Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. See the description in the box below about how you can support my channel on Patreon and PayPal.